I'm gonna get my tan on today. It is hot. Good morning, everybody. I'm very excited. Today is the day I get to ride the mine train. The route from Playa del Carmen to Cancun and from Cancun to Playa del Carmen is active as of a few days. So I'm just gonna head over in a taxi now, hit the station. I opted for a cheaper ticket for the way to Cancun, maybe spend some time at a restaurant, at a beach. And then on the way home from Cancun to Playa, I opted for a more expensive ticket. So I like to make this little video, do a little comparison of what it's like to take the cheaper ticket or the more expensive ticket, be a little fly on the wall, maybe ask some people working there, some of the locals, what they think about it, and just show you the overall experience. I'm very psyched, so please join me on this journey. Let's get to it. Gentleman's helping me find my way here. Everything's very new still. Awesome. Um, All right, so there's some pretty good space here for your feet. Nice and comfy. Got a split spot for you to put some stuff and then I'll show you guys here. Oh yeah, they got an overhead area where you can put some of your stuff up there. Pretty decent, nice big seats. The train is moving, we're on our way. It's pretty awesome. You see all the construction on the side here. So, there's there's work to be done, but wow. One of the first people on this train. All right, perfect. The bar is literally just right behind me, so it's very easy, accessible. Um, I was able to get a beer, and it's not horribly priced. It was uh, 60 pesos for this drink here, so it wasn't too bad. They got nice options. For the moment, we have tamales. Okay. Tamales de rajas con queso, tamales de cajeta y de verdura. Tenemos chapata, que es una baguette. Tenemos eh, ensalada de atún, pollos de atún, atún con huevo y, perdón, este huevo con tocino y atún. Tenemos también eh, café, solamente americano. Okay. Y contamos con frituras, aguas, este, bebidas frías, cerveza. Ok, um, ¿cuánto? ¿Qué cervezas? La cerveza está en 60. Okay. Tenemos Corona, Montejo y Pacífico. Ok, uh, Pacífico, por favor. Una Pacífico, claro. ¿Tienes Wi-Fi? No, por el no. momento no. No, no, momento no. Ok, gracias. Un placer. Suerte les pasa. Alright, we're about at the halfway mark, give or take a couple minutes. So far, it's beautiful. All you see is all the nature and the trees. Now, along the way, there was some uh, areas where it kind of looked like maybe they're building a sports complex. You know, baseball diamond or there's like little areas that are developing with the roads and um, areas that will further be developed so it's just interesting to see from this perspective here you can see everything that's uh, being constructed so it's pretty wild pretty unreal experience to be one of the first to be riding this train here from Playa del Carmen to Cancun so I'm just super psyched and stoked that this is happening right now so i didn't even realize just till now so you do get a little uh space for you if you have your food your laptop set up a little holder for your drink well it looks like it started to rain so my plan to go to the beach might be a ruin but what we can do is find a place to eat i'm pretty hungry i haven't had anything to eat yet today so once we're there if the rain hasn't really settled down maybe we'll check out a nearby restaurant or something we'll figure something fun to do and uh, a couple after a couple hours after that we'll be heading back but this time around i opted for the more expensive package i want to see what the difference are i'm very happy so far even with what we had here as a resident in Playa del Carmen 94 pesos I believe it was 94 pesos and 50 centavos so it's you know about eight dollars Canadian so you can't go wrong with that I mean this is a very unique experience you have your menu needs to plug in your, your phone your devices 
seats are nice and big, you have something for your feet, and you even have, the, as I showed before, you have the plate, somewhere to put your cup, so very, very comfortable. And you have the beautiful views, trees, nature, and looks like there's some spots where um, might be where some of the other stops are going to be filled, so you can see them working away on that. But we're almost there now, so I'm excited. All right, so here we are in Cancun. We made it. One of the first to take the train, so I'm pretty psyched about that. Now I just gotta figure out where exactly I'm gonna be heading here. All right. Just gotta find where the exit is now. All right, so here we are. I'm out of the uh, station. So there's really not much to do here. I mean, they have just buses and taxis, but they're way inflated. I mean, they want to charge me five times what it cost me to take a train, you know, a train ride that was over an hour versus a 10 minute taxi. But we're right at the airport, so I'm sure this will develop more as time goes by. So I just got to decide where I should head here. Figure out a good spot. So Playa del Fem? Okay, perfect. Can I sit here or not? Okay. Yeah, I like sitting up front. Perfect. Gracias. Alright, so just heading over to Playa del Fem. Spend a few hours and then head back and we'll uh, train back to Playa del Carmen. Alright guys, just made it out to del Playa del Fem. I'm here with Tony. Hola. What's up Tony? How's nice it going? Nice to meet you. So where, where are you from originally? My name is Dan, this is Tony. Tony, and you're living in uh, Playa, right? Playa Carmen. Playa del Carmen, and then you come here and work in Cancun. Yes. Have you taken the train yourself yet? Yes. You have been on the train? Yes. So what do you think that's going to mean for Mexico here on the Yucatan? The Mexico? Yeah, like what opportunities do you think will happen because of the train? The train is the very good, very nice. You like it, you enjoy it? Hopefully it's going to bring a lot of work in for people. Yes. Being able to work from, live in Playa, work in Cancun, such as yourself. Anyways, it's nice to meet you. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of time at the beach and then we're going to head back to uh, Playa del Carmo. Anyways, thank you, Tony, for the ride. Peace out, guys. Yes, thank you. All right, so here we are at Delphi, Playa Delphine. I love this beach. I've been here with the fan before. Absolutely spectacular. And I don't have a lot of time. i got about two hours and then i got to head back to the train to catch my ride which I will be going in style I got the more expensive seat for the way home so I just wanted to do a comparison video to see what that's gonna be like but wow it is hot here today the one thing that's so beautiful down here in Cancun that you don't necessarily have down in Playa del Carmen is the ocean here I mean look at those that shade of blue absolutely stunning came out took a dip in the water the water's really wavy right now it's so crystal clean though it's absolutely beautiful as you guys can see different shoots of shades of blue there's this little uh go mart where you can buy drinks snacks all right so yeah i'm here at this little convenience store they got some subways some snacks desserts sandwiches chicken got myself a sub subway sandwich uh, and then uh, we'll start making our way over. I'm on the taxi heading back to the uh, train station and then we'll be hopping on trying the premier seating. So let's see how that turns out. Back at the station, I got luckier this time around. So when I came out of the station to go down to Delphin Beach, I got charged 400 pesos which is pretty unreal considering it cost me 90 to take the train and 400 to get to the beach. And uh, now from the beach back to the station, I paid another 240. So, you know, between the train, the train, which travels way farther, is a fraction of the cost of the taxi. So the one issue I foresee seeing here is if they don't have a solution for that, it's really gonna kill the train because it doesn't make sense to, you know, have an affordable train, but then you're paying up the ass on the uh, taxi. So I'm sure they're gonna have 
different buses and stuff, uh, local collectibles and other things created as time goes on. But for now, that is kind of a bus kill. I did not like that. That really rubbed me the wrong way. But I'm sure they're gonna have a solution. The undo bus and stuff like that does come here. So if that's something you've paid for or you're going over to the airport, that's a pretty good solution they have for that. That bus is free to go from here. So when you get off, you can just head on there and bring you to the airport. But if you want to go anywhere else, you're getting charged up the ass. So I hope they find a solution soon enough. Yo, yo, mucha gasolina en el verano a los locks de 1107.7. Sube lo que esto es barrio fino. Alright, so here we are lining up again. We've got the premier line. So far it's me. Second, third, and fourth line again. Just waiting. Looks like the train from Playa just arrived here. And uh, we'll be boarding ourselves soon. Get it. I believe I was seat number one. Oh, look at that. Let's see. We got a little table. I got the whole train to myself here. Looks like I'm the only one on the premier seating today. Woo! Yeah. So you were saying there's a bus that takes you to uh, downtown from here? Yes, if you decide, you have to pay for the 140 pesos. Okay, it's awesome. free. Uh, the free bus is if you're going to uh, the airport, is the, the free. Okay, so that's awesome. So the bus to the airport's free, and if you want to go downtown, you can take a bus for about 140 pesos. Sorry. That'll take you downtown. Yeah, that's good to know because I took the taxi, and they're charging anywhere between four to 600, which is expensive considering the entire train ride is an hour. And, the cheaper tickets about 100 pesos yes. so even the premier here is 300 which is still less than the 10 minute taxi ride <laughs> yeah what's included like so i'm doing the premier going from cancun to playa what, what what's different with the premier than it is the regular ticket oh it's it's for the comfortable more comfort yes it's okay. not the only for the comfortable awesome i get that because the um, the tourist area, you can find the four chair. Yeah. And here the three. It's different. So the nice thing here is that I don't have to get up. You can order your uh, snacks, food right to your my table here. So since we ha do have a table on these seats here versus the uh, cheaper seats that I had, so I'm just waiting on that. The uh, drink will be given right to me. So from what I talked to the gentleman here, on longer rides, when we start going off to Merida and farther distances, when you buy the premier tickets, you the food and drinks will be included. But since this is a shorter ride, it doesn't include with it. So really the biggest difference is there's a little bit more leg room. You have this table here, a little more comfortable, kind of priority seating as in a lot, there's obviously gonna be less people in the premier section. So. You won't have to wait as much when you're outside waiting to board. All right, again, for 50 pesos, I got a nice cold original Coke. It's not too bad. They bring it right to you. And we are leaving Cancun. This is honestly such a surreal experience to be here. And I'm the only one on this uh, train right now. So I believe it's four sections to this train and I'm in the first train which is the premier section and there's absolutely nobody here so i got the whole train to myself but it's kind of cool because i can walk around look around do my own thing and this time i'm facing towards the direction that the train is actually going unlike when we were heading here to cancun so ac is nice again we got a plug where you can charge my phone up top put your stuff got the table here in front of me that you can put your place your stuff more leg room so so far really nice and uh, those great views again all the nature and tree and everything you see a lot of people who are working on it 
you know, all smiles, waving to you. They're, must, they're very proud as they should be. You know, they all played a hand in building this. So it's, I, I can't wait for the few years when this is all up and in full swing. It's gonna change the way the Yucatan area is gonna be. You know, you could work in a different city and come in with the train and it's just gonna make the world seem like such a smaller place and with technology and internet and everything it's happening even more and more the world is becoming or seeming to become smaller and smaller so it's really cool anyways i'm just gonna enjoy my drink here sit back in style if you guys ever come please check out the train <laughs>